The Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic 2 has a great collection of buttonholes and eyelets and mending stitches. So all of those are still in the utility stitch menu A. You just need to scroll up to get to all the different ones. And if you're unsure why a stitch is done a certain way or what it's for, touch the question mark and then touch the stitch and it will tell you what kind of stitch it is and what it's used for. So as we go down, you'll find actually three different styles of eyelets. So 59, 60, and 61. So uh, for the round eyelet, for belts and laces, but we do things like we run ribbon or cord through them. If you're doing something with a drawstring part to it, drawstring bag, drawstring shorts, you can easily use a smaller unit like an eyelet to kind of do some of those fun things. Now, as soon as I pick that particular stitch, notice foot B comes up and that would be the right foot to do. It is not an IDF foot or integrated dual feed. So make sure that that is disengaged before you start to sew. And if you want a couple different looks to them, make sure that you try out lengthening an eyelet and even reducing the width and you'll get things that look more oval-ish. So again, eyelets are something that you can have some fun with and find what works for you. You'll also notice on screen that it recommends some stabilizer. So if your fabric isn't sturdy, that is something you will need to add. But I'm gonna just stitch one out just to see what it's gonna look like. You can step on your foot control or press the start stop button. You'll notice it just stitches the stitch, locks it, ah, and the cut and the lift. So it knows that there, you're only gonna be stitching one before you're actually taking it out and moving to your next area. So all you have to do is know where it starts and let it finish. Now here's another little tip for eyelets. You might even think about using an eyelet or a decorative stitch with one repeat as a way to tie quilts. So if you've ever tied quilts in the center of every block, what about just sliding the whole quilt underneath your machine and putting a eyelet through the entire set of layers, the batting and the back, and just go from stitch to stitch or block to block really fast as you go ahead and put a quick eyelet in each one of them. They're looking great. So try them out. Make sure if you're stitching out your stitch book that you don't forget to stitch out all three eyelets.